Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Marvel Rivals Season 1 on any PC. With the new update and the new agents down here, a lot of people are facing a lot of issues with the game. So I hope this guy helps you out. Make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, let's start with the first step that is best windows settings and for that search for settings on your PC and once you are here, go down to gaming. Head over to game bar and quickly turn this thing off. It helps you to disable windows game bar which consumes RAM and CPU resources in the background, helping you to improve your input latency and free up your CPU and RAM resources. Right after that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, helping you to improve your performance. Right beneath that, click on graphic settings and then click on change default graphic settings over here. Enable hardware extracted GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to utilize your GPU to render the game and reduce your render and input latency. Once it is done, go back to graphics and now click on the browse button over here and now you have to look for the game download location. If you are unaware of it, simply right click on your Marvel Rivals on Steam, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. This will instantly take you to the download location where you can copy the file path. Paste it here and once you are over here, you have to go into Marvel Game, Marvel, Binaries, Win64 and you'll find Marvel Win64 Shipping.exe. You're gonna have to click on Add and if that is already added, scroll a little bit down until you find it, head over to its options and then select High Performance to ensure that it is utilizing your GPU to render the game. Click on Save and then close your settings. Now before we move ahead, a really effective way to improve your PC's performance is having free space on your local disk C and installing your games and your operating system in an SSD as they are generally faster and more responsive. I collaborated with 4D DIG Partition Master, a really handy and portable tool that offers you to manage your partition and migrate your operating system from your hard disk to an SSD without any corruption. It is free to download for Windows and other operating system and here is how it looks like. You are only a few clicks away from the task like migrating your operating system. Simply click on the start button over here and it will auto detect your OS. You just have to click the new disk that you want your OS to be migrated to and simply click on start. And in a few moments, your PC will boot up faster. You can also play along with the partition size if you want to allocate more space to your local disk C to ensure your PC keeps on performing better. You can check out 4D DIG Partition Master for yourself and try out more amazing features by downloading the application from the link in the description below. Step number two is compatibility settings and once again you have to open up the file location where you have downloaded the game. Head over to Marvel Game, Marvel, Binaries, Win64, right click on your Win64 shipping, head over to its properties, then compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations Then click on high DPI settings and then select the first option over here, click on OK and then click on OK. This will help you to reduce your input latency and improve your FPS drastically. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows over here and then click on custom make sure that you only select these four values that is save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts these four settings will help you to keep your basic look of windows intact while disabling all kind of unnecessary cpu consuming animations that may cause fps issues and stutters in the game once you're done applying them you have to click on the apply button over here and then head down to the advanced tab then for processor scheduling you're gonna have to click on programs and for the virtual memory click on the change button over here and then deselect automatically manage paging file size then for the custom size you're gonna have to set this thing to 1361 and for the maximum size you open up your calculator now you have to multiply your ram that is 32 gb for me with 1024 this will give you your memory in megabytes now this value should be divided by 2 and the new value over here should be pasted in the maximum size without any commas and once that is done click on set click on ok and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory now the concept is when Windows runs out of your RAM's capacity and your game demands more, your PC can use your storage devices as a virtual RAM. 
Once that is done, click on apply and then click on close. Next step is creating a register point and for that simply search for create a register point on your PC. Then you have to locate your local disk C over here which has a windows icon generally. Click on create and name it MR just so you can remember this register point was for Marvel Rivals. Now this is just a fail safe method because we are going to be changing some registry files which might not end up correctly if not applied properly. So to safeguard yourself you have to create this, make sure not to skip this step, close it and then close it. Now next step is the Marvel Rivals season 1 FPS pack and I highly recommend you guys to skip this one apply all of these steps over here in here you'll find in six simple folders and let's start with the first one that is CPU priority this folder dedicates your CPU and helps you to set up the correct D word values for it to be utilized for game if you have an AMD CPU I have left AMD CPU priority which changes a few SFIU priorities GPU utilization priorities and scheduling category of your processor to run them you can simply double click and merge it into your registry and if you have an intel cpu you can double click and run the intel cpu priority over here next is ram's optimization and over here next folder is ram optimization and over here i have left some presets according to your pc and you have to find out which ram you have installed on your pc in this folder i have left some presets according to your pc now i use 32 gb ram so i need to run this registry over here you can find out the ram for yourself by searching for system information on your pc and then looking for install physical memory now you have to double click and apply this registry and it will help you to set up the correct d word value for your ram and it will help you utilize it properly and improve the performance once again if that doesn't work out well you can always reset it back to default using this registry over here third folder is marvel rivals priority in which i have left three priorities and to use them you want to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which registry to choose from in this list fourth one is pc optimization where i have left a batch file over here there are three batch files the first one is bcd tweaks which helps you to reduce your input latency by disabling dynamic take high precision event timer and synthetic timers second one is memory compression and it helps you to disable this process which consumes a lot of cpu usage in the background and you don't really need this for performance so you can disable memory compression safely as well and if this causes any kind of issues you can change the command from disable to enable and then run it again and it will enable it back Last one is disable process mitigation and over here it helps you to run this command on your PC particularly on your PowerShell and it will help you to fix your CPU issues, stuttering issues and in-game FPS drops. Once all of that is done, fifth one is power plan settings and in here I have left import ultimate performance power plan. It runs a simple command as an administrator which helps you to add a power plan. So you can click on power plans over here and you will see ultimate performance added right over here. Now make sure you run that command prompt as administrator otherwise this won't be added here you make sure to select ultimate performance and this will disable all kind of power saving features on your pc which will help you to improve your pc's performance now once again there are downsides to it if you're using a laptop you might face heating issues and battery drain but there are no such issues on a computer sixth one is the final folder over here which is programs in which i have left three programs let's start with the first one that is clean temporary files now cleaning your temporary files periodically will help you to improve 0.7 to 1 percent fps drops fixes now cleaning your temporary files periodically will help you to fix your 0.1% FPS drops and to run that you can run it as administrator. This will simply ask you to press any key to continue. Just do that and it will start deleting all temporary files off of your PC. It's completely safe. Next one is MSI Mode Utility 3.0 and it will help you to set up the correct GPU priority. Simply run this as administrator. Once you're over here you have to find your graphic card and then click on the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority you're gonna have to select high over here and this will help you to ensure that your GPU can hand handle higher interrupts and more of them to ensure that the performance is not lost. Uh, click on apply and then close it. Last program over here is the unpack CPU where you have to right click on this as administrator and this is a very simple tool that will help you to unpack your CPU cores. Windows by default has this tendency to park the cores which are not in use actually puts the cores into sleep. This can happen while you're playing your game and you do not want that. And to fix this you can use the unpack CPU program. Let it 
open up and once it and once it opens up you guys can see two things over here that is system power plan which we have already set to ultimate performance and then the second one that is system power state it will tell you your power state if it is plugged in or it's running on battery if you're on a laptop and the third one over here is core parking index this is the one that we are interested in so you're gonna have to slide it up to 100% click on apply and it'll make sure that your all of your cores on your pc is enabled once that is done you're gonna have to close it close the fps pack and now the next step is fixing all of your internet issues packet loss ping issues latency using no ping it's a free to use tool for seven days that you guys can download from the link in the description below once you open it up it should look like this and over here it has a very simple interface which offers you over 1000 games to choose from simply look up for marvel rivals over here and then click on choose the server it will give you two options that is choose automatically or choose manually once again if you want to choose manually you can select the location that is nearest to you or if you're unaware of it simply click on choose automatic and it will give you a recommended server once again you can simply click on continue and then click on optimize game to start one click optimizing your game it will show you your real time game data over here as well and the best part about no ping is the hardware settings over here which offers you boost fps when if you enable all of these options it will help you to boost your fps as well but that is completely your risk i use no ping for myself and i have seen improvements so i would recommend you guys to use no ping as well and now you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings okay once you're in your game head over to the settings gear over here and then go down to settings then in the display mode make sure that your display mode is always on full screen aspect ratio should be 16 is to 9 resolution should be 1920 by 1080 if you have that monitor or go with a native resolution of your monitor anti-aliasing type and super resolution type if you have an nvidia graphic card go with nvidia dlss or if you have an amd graphic card go with amd fsr anti-aliasing will add up a little bit of input latency into your gameplay so if you guys do not want that and if you want a very simple gameplay compromising your frames you can go with off or TAAU. it doesn't really impact a lot on your input latency and the rendering scale you're gonna have to go down up to 80 percent or something 85 to 90 percent would be fine frame generation mode should be strictly off frame generation add a ton of input latency low latency mode i have gone with nvidia reflex low latency you can use that and then a little bit down limit fps should be turned off show fps and night stats should be turned on vsync should be strictly turned off then over here for the graphics quality i have set this thing to low global illumination i have gone with ssgi reflection quality should be screen space reflection model detail and everything other than that should be set to low once that is done press enter to apply these settings and restart your game once to enjoy the best fps possible in the game so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button since it really helps me grow the channel we're really close to 210,000 subscribers and i believe in you all also you guys can join the channel membership to make sure your name is highlighted on the screen right over here thanks a lot to all of the members supporting the channel and with all that said we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching Fox and peace out